imagine starting a whole entire house together only to end up exposing each other <gasps> after getting all the clout you want? So by now we all know how ever since TikTok started blowing up just last year, we had something else also blowing up on the sidelines called content houses. Now y'all, despite the number of opportunities these content houses brought from multiple TikTokers on the platform, we all have to admit that these content houses caused even more negativity and drama rather than a positive social space. Not only did the hype house get into that huge drama that we all remember was for the books in the beginning of TikTok, leaving multiple creators to start having beef with each other, but also the Sway House themselves recently started having a huge follow as well. If you guys have watched my previous video, then you guys would know that the Sway House decided to make a reality TV show that did not go well at all. This isn't the first time that Michael's talked about me, so it just didn't shock me when I heard that. Obviously, it's not affecting anything because I'm the main event, but why is he doing that when he's kind of related to you, in a sense? I, don't know, I think I it's a like... jealousy thing because you're making $5 million. And you... I don't know. without his help and guys it's now been a couple of months and it seems like none other than bryce hall decided to take one for the team and finally expose why the sway house is officially done for good this week our boy bryce hall decided to make a huge announcement on social media announcing that he was going to be completely moving out of the sway house now y'all this was obviously a huge announcement on social media and no one is expecting this at all because if you guys have been keeping up with the sway house and all the boys and you guys would know that they would always make sure to portray themselves as having a good bond with each other and having a healthy relationship. But guys, not only did members like Bryce Hall, Noah Beck, but also Griffin Johnson decided to come forward and explain that this wasn't the case at all behind the scenes. But even the paparazzi and many other news articles decided to interview some of the boys one-on-one -on -one to get the full scoop on what went down. So to start off how this whole outbreak about how the Sway House was completely falling apart on social media, Bryce Hall decided to shed light to the situation by answering a question about how all the other boys of the Sway House seemed to be brushing off Bryce to the side and leaving him all alone over these past few months. Is it just me or does it kind of seem like they just pushed Bryce to the side and left him? Maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. Take a look at what Bryce decided to spill about this. None of the Sway boys are living with me, I'm gonna be completely alone in a three-bedroom house, which is gonna be fun. Like, even if the Sway Boys had the common decency to invite me to their next house, I wouldn't accept it. Stop shading them, then. I can do whatever the f I want. Why did you leave Sway? Um, honestly, like, I need I need a, a friend group that, that works. I party. Don't get me wrong. I party my ass off. But no one works as hard as me. It is. It's true. And I need, I need like, a good friend group that that grinds but also parties and that's us guys after this you guys it seemed like bryce hall was really upset with the way the sway house was treating him over these last few months and he decided to make a full on tiktok you guys captioned good bye sway never talking to any of you again maybe some you made me hate this city it seemed like Bryce was even more upset about this and he even made an Instagram story addressing that he was in fact leaving the house for good and he seemed really shady in this Instagram story, basically shading all the members for being fake and how they treated him during their time together. Just fully moved out of the Sway house. I get my place by myself. Now I'm an adult. I'm 22, living by myself, uh, doing everything myself and now I have no friends. So hit me up if you want to be friends. Obviously, we don't really know what went down behind the scenes, you guys, but from what it looks like, it seems like all the other members of the Sway House, y'all, had completely different sides to their stories as well. Yeah, Noah Beck of the Sway House decided to make a full-on interview about the Sway House and also expose some interesting information about certain members that no one was expecting at all. I can't be in too many videos with Sway House members because brands will see that and they're like, oh, well, you're doing this with Bryce and he's not not very like brand safe. Some creators care more about their image online rather than trying to capitalize on all the money they could bring in if they were brand safe, he said. So not only was Noah back insinuating that Bryce Hall wasn't a good person to have for his brand because Bryce Hall, as we all know, likes to party and drink a lot. And as we all know, Noah Beck is the complete opposite, so he definitely decided to express why he wasn't as close with Bryce Hall anymore. 
since he felt like having Bryce by his side would have affected his brand reputation. Noah Beck decided to expose that he never had a good relationship with Griffin Johnson, since we all know that his current girlfriend, Dixie D'Amelio, is her ex-boyfriend. In this article, Noah explained how his relationship with Griffin from there on out was completely awkward. At the time, Dixie D'Amelio was in a relationship with another Sweet House resident, Griffin Johnson, but that didn't stop fans from fantasizing about them as a couple. Noah Beck said, I was like, I don't want to make this weird for anyone, but he confirmed now that he never had a good relationship with Griffin, and said that at one point he and Dixie stopped making videos together out of respect to her relationship. By the end of summer, Dixie D'Amelio had announced her breakup with Griffin Johnson in a video that now has over 12 million views. To Beck, the split felt inevitable. I don't know everything about girls, no one does, but I would see the way that they were together and I was like, this doesn't seem like they want to be around each other and it doesn't seem real to be honest. When this article between Noah Beck decided to spread all over social media, this was when the whole situation got even more messy, you guys, since Griffin Johnson decided to also chime in and be shady to all the other members of the Sway House as well, saying how the city of LA is filled with fake people. If you guys haven't caught on, Griffin actually ended up moving to Miami a couple of weeks ago, and he honestly seems to be super happy in that environment rather than how he was in LA, saying LA is full of fake people with fake personalities that will do anything to climb to the top. I don't know why I'll still act surprised. That's why I moved out of that sh People talk about LA so much, but don't even be from here. Like, babe, go back to your hometown then. I hate when people say this about LA. I love this city. I grew up here. I'm sorry that you surrounded yourself with the wrong crowd. Didn't he Photoshop Dixie to his Insta photos and write her name next to an inappropriate image on his birthday cake? He's right. Noah acts like this nice guy, yet he talks sh about Bryce, the guy who let him join Sway. If he never joined Sway, no one would have known who he was. Anyways, you guys, I definitely want to know what you guys think about this whole fallout between the Sway House. Were y'all ever expecting this to happen? Definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I love y'all so much, and as always, I'll see y'all in the next video.